Dylan Bram of Joliet, Illinois, is working on a computer program that simulates how to properly site the tower for a wind turbine. Bram is in his second year of study in the Wind Energy and Turbine Technology Program at Iowa Lakes Community College in Esterville, Iowa. It was a little strange coming out to a small town in Iowa, but uh, the people are friendly and the program, as far as I can tell, is just top notch. And uh, yeah, and the instructors are great. You know, I, I came here without knowing anything about electricity or not a lot about anything about mechanical units. systems and whatnot. So uh, they've done a great job bringing, bringing them along. They can be configured in several different Since ways. Since 2004, the Iowa Lakes Community College has been one of several schools across together. the country turning out its See, share of qualified graduates for the wind energy workforce. When the program was started four years ago on this the Esterville campus, there were 15 students in a few classrooms. Late last year, a new building was dedicated, and now four instructors are teaching 66 students the essentials of locating, constructing, and maintaining wind turbines. And in the near future, a building expansion is planned that will bring many of the training mock-ups inside so they can be used in inclement weather. Mike Schmidt is both a curriculum coordinator and instructor with the Wind Energy and Turbine Technology Program at Iowa Lakes. I tell the students early on, you really need to make a commitment to be successful in this program or any other technical program. If you do make that commitment, it's going to pay off in the long run. According to the American Wind Energy Association, or AWEA, a wind industry promotion group, wind generating capacity in the United States jumped 45 percent to 17,000 megawatts, or a little more than one percent of the electrical power supply in 2007. The AWEA attributes much of the incentive for that growth to the federal wind energy tax credit. This tax credit is due to expire at the end of this year unless Congress chooses to extend it. If Congress does choose to extend the tax credit, the AWEA estimates capacity may increase by another 30% in 2008. To handle the increase, American Wind estimates the pool of qualified people for all phases of the industry will need to grow from 45,000 to 75,000. Two students that will likely help fill this gap are Nadine Kelly Strait and her husband Roger Strait. Both first year students, Kelly Strait 35 and Strait 50, like the fact the program caters to all age groups. And, um, you know, I've always taken care of kids, nutrition, family, that's what I've done for a long time. But uh, as far as mechanics and electricity and hydraulics and all that, that's new for me. So that's a new, it's challenging for me because it's not an area I'm comfortable, familiar, and I'm just adding to my knowledge. But I'm excited about it because it's a renewable energy, it's something I believe in and, and I think it's important. Strait, who retired after almost 30 years in the United States Air Force, had been doing work on farms in rural Iowa until his wife encouraged him to join the program. When she said, let's do this, and, I, and I'm thinking, well, I really don't need, and I'm, uh, well, one of the reasons I was so wishy-washy about doing it at first was, you know, I'm going to be 50 years old, and I'm going to be in a class with a bunch of guys that are 19, 20, maybe up to 25, 30, and I'm going to be an outcast, you feel like. But when I got here, when I found out this, the other guys in the class, they don't care. Strait did find that his life experience had both positive and negative effects on his classroom experience. Sometimes this material we're learning is, is stuff that I've already done on the job. So you've learned it on the job. You don't have college credit for it or anything, but you've learned it on the job. So sometimes it, you, it's, you can have a tendency to ask questions that are above where you're at in the class because your mind is working, jumping ahead, and so you have to be careful not to do that. So that's one thing. The other thing is, is, is the terminology. When you're working in this industry, you may be using the same parts, but they're called something else. They're just referred to how you hook them together is, is called a different process. Part of the curriculum includes a mandatory internship during the summer between the first and second years of the program. We have no Bram's internship have was in Northern Ireland. Because of the combination of classroom and internship requirements in the two-year course of study, most students are employed immediately after graduation. According to Schmidt, base pay for alumni averages around $25 per hour, or roughly $50,000 per year when overtime work is factored in. 
many of our students get two to three offers upon com successfully completing the program. Um, you know, it's it's one of those things that uh, it it it's caught kind of all of us off guard. We had we really did not know what what the possibilities were for these students, and we found that uh, you know starting wages being very very lucrative. Seeing value in the program, major producers of wind turbines have invested in Iowa Lakes. Leading manufacturers like the Danish company Vestas and Netherlands-based Suzland have provided guidance, equipment, and internships. And Bram sees value in the Iowa Lakes program as well. During his internship in Ireland, he was offered a few extra weeks of work, but turned it down. In some cases, extensions of this kind can lead to full-time jobs without all of the required classes. But Bram believes finishing the program is a better choice. They did offer us a small extension. They needed some extra help for a couple weeks. And as far as I know, the other interns were offered full-time positions at the end of theirs. So uh, I, I personally, I, I didn't. I didn't take the small extension because school was beginning. And I already paid for classes, so I wanted to get back. But it was, it was kind of tempting to see if they would hire me right on. I was already over there. I was having a blast. You know, it was great work. I don't know, I think the two years, if you do the full year, the two full years, you get a lot better possibilities. And I didn't want to cut short my education. For Market to Market, I'm David Miller.